So till now we have implemented that is we get the permission for notification on the web and then we also implement our push notification message listener. The next thing is to create the device registration token in order to recognize the user browser that is to which browser we are going to send the notification or you can say to which user basically we are going to send the notification. So that is something that we create using the Firebase messaging as you know already using the FCM. So we can say wait Firebase messaging dot instance dot get token dot then and here we are going to basically call a method which we will implement now and that will be set token which will basically you can say generate a token so we can say set token now And let's implement that here now we will need two variables so let's initialize here first one will be string type underscore token the second one will be stream string and it will be underscore token stream so we can say string token set state and we will assign our token to underscore token assign token to our underscore token like this now what this code will do is it will basically get the token okay and we set that token that is that token we assign to our this underscore token now as we have the token we can proceed and we can simply uh, check if it refresh if that token refresh then that refresh token we will assign to our this underscore token screen stream firebase messaging dot instance dot on token refresh and it will listen token stream dot listen it will listen that set token now so token stream dot listen set token now which simply means that if the token is refresh then it will basically pass the new token and that new token will be assigned to this underscore token so as we have now the token next thing is to save this token to the database before we proceed and save the token to database first we have to check that is either the code which we have implemented till now is it working or not we have to test that so before testing the web app one thing you can do is we can simply print out our this uh, token in order to check if it is working or not so I can simply say print and I will give it name as FCM user user recognition token equals to and then we will display that token so which is using the concatenation sign we can say token okay that is this token so token dot to string and let me add some that is to the new line okay so in the new line we can display it so that we can see it also let's add some extra lines here so we can see it clearly so now if I log in so you see the pop-up 
it says it asks for the permission that is first it execute this as I told you guys which we have implemented okay in this section so far first it asks for the permission and it is waiting it is waiting that you provide the permission to it so you have to allow the permission so let's click on allow so notification allowed and you can see the badge of notification alongside with it okay so notification allowed if I will see the terminal now now let's go to the terminal and here we got this error which says that this thing is missing basically firebase messaging sw.js we have to add this file that is we have to create it so in order for the push notifications okay it is only required for the push notifications to work firebase cloud messaging so we have to create that inside our web i will provide this file which is by the name firebase messaging sw.js okay just download that file when you download it you can simply copy it and when you copy it come back to your project right click on web then click paste and click ok so you see that inside the web folder we have now our firebase messaging sw.js file so just paste this file inside the web folder and when you paste it uh, here is the uh, code here okay it is basically for the background messages that is when you uh, let's say when the user minimize the browser and when the notification receive then in that case this piece of code will execute which is on background message okay that is when the browser is minimized and you receive a push notification similarly here uh, we have to provide our firebase configurations which we can copy from our man that is this thing copy it and then paste it here like this okay once you do this now you are good to go so now we will simply come back here make sure to close the terminal first and now let's install the app again So logged in as you see whenever we logged in we have to allow the permission it asks for the permission to use the push notification okay and then we have to wait I mean of course it will automatically get the push and the device token it will create now and it will show us in the logs so we have to check here we go here you can see after three four seconds you see that FCM user uh, recognition token and here is the token so each user will have its own unique uh, registration token that is each user will have its own browser token that is using this we can recognize each user basically we can recognize each user browser that is okay this is this user specifically and using this device token that is using this user registration token we can send the push notification to that specific user for example this user this uh, token this token belongs to now Peter Parker okay let's say after some time it will automatically refresh and for that we have already written the code if the token get refresh then get that new refresh token so it will be uh, refresh that it will be updated so each time when it either refresh or whatever happens we can recognize we have access to that token and using this token we can recognize each user for, for example Peter Parker has this token John Jones will have a different token and Michael Clark will have a different token so using these tokens basically we recognize each user so to that specific user let's say if Peter Parker uh, now John Jones send a message to Peter Parker so using Peter Parker this token we can recognize that okay this is Peter Parker computer or let's say this is Peter Parker browser we have to send the push notification only to Peter Parker and not to other users because John John sent a message to Peter Parker okay so using this token we can recognize that okay to this specific browser or to this specific user we have to send the push notification